Sagittarius, this is your June 2020 forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me, hypnosis to facilitate permanent change. This is a good month for you because it's all about you for the next 18 months, but specifically the beginning of June, it is you. Uh, or if you want to be part of Zoom, do use the link below. Sagittarius, we do have an eclipse on the 5th of June, uh, first week of June, and it is you. And this is going to bring up these feelings of competition, pettiness, jealousy, provocation, poking the bear. This, this feeling is going to arise. Now, if you have a relationship or sun, moon, and rising with a Gemini, then this is doubly so. So whereas I was thinking about you when I was shuffling the cards, exactly what I was thinking of is that this is going to be a time in your love relationships and a small select few of you, this is your contract relationships, that there is going to be a big blowout and someone's going to talk themselves out of that. It's going to be done. Or we're going to have this back and forth going on. It's really going to create this um, conversation where we make a stance. Uh, we stay or we go. If you are single, then you might be very, very surprised that if this, this, this emotion comes over you, it's like, oh, I didn't know I felt like that. Why am I jealous? I don't even like that person. Maybe I like that person more than I thought I did. So this kind of feeling is going to bring up and it's going to, you, you're either going to completely break up or you're going to get together. So this is, um, you know, very strong for you, particularly if you have a Gemini involved in this as well. So, um this conflict when it comes to uh, contracts, so with your work, study, career and finance, we do have the yes card and this is about providing balance. This is actually, um, so when we got an eclipse, we've got the sun, we've got the moon, we've got male, we've got the feminine energy and they're vying for visibility here and it is in Sagittarius. So this is about our deep psychological foundations that we were born with, that we've lived our whole life with. And there is conflict there. So something someone says or does is going to uh, spark this emotion in you that you've had your whole life. And this is going to generate a change for you psychologically, a permanent change. Now, um, and this is all about karma because we're in the Sagittarius Gemini season. Now it's going to go right through to, um, the next 18 months or so. And that's what this job is about. It's about our, um, our mental ability and how we see ourselves, how we think, how we create our daily uh, mental function and creativity and our strong fundamental <clears throat> foundational belief systems that we've always had. And some of that is, you know, expired. We don't need it. It doesn't help us. It keeps us stuck. And, you know, we need to force that situation to get that change. Uh, which is not always easy. No one likes change. Um, change itself can be scary. So this is what we're doing. Now for you, if this is talking about contracts, we've got a yes here. We've got a balance of the book. So maybe this generates competition and you win. Maybe this generates a conversation where you get more money, get that position, get that title, because we are looking at a new title and there's arguing about it. There's competition about it and there's jealousy and pettiness and rah, 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 rah about it. Um, but we do have a yes when it comes to your finances. Now, when we're looking at contracts, you do have a yes. It is going to be fair. And the idea of being paid what you're worth or even um, reform fairness um, and even a little bit of charity. So maybe getting a little bit extra or giving a little bit extra for that as well. If it comes to your study, you're going to get a handout um, when it comes to extra time, a uh, handout sheet. Uh, someone's going to offer you. Um, some help, or you to them, mentoring, tutoring, um, something like that. When it comes to your home, we do have you. This is um, the Hermit card. I see this is um, Virgo as well, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Where you've got your home and your love, we've got this. This is exactly what I said before. This is the deep psychological look at my past and my past relationships from my home that affect my love and every other part of my life. And I'm looking at that deep psychological foundation that I've always done. And what is my self-sabotage there? What is stopping me? What is from keeping me from my biggest dreams? Ninth house, biggest hopes and dreams. It's my goal. It's where I want to be. It's broadening my horizons. It's giving me more. All of those different things. And I'm looking at that. This is a major arcana card. And then I'm looking at my partners, my love and my money. And I'm looking at the worth there. My worth, their worth, is it even? Is it fair? Do I feel undervalued? Do they feel undervalued? Is this worth it for me? This is what we're talking about. And then you've got two cards. So absolutely, some of you are going to meet the love of your life. 
going to be a bit of an argument over it first. Maybe it's a bit of a shock. I didn't know I felt that way. Some of you are going to break up. Um, so this is conflict in a love relationship. And this is a, a complicated uh, relationship. And um, there can be a bit of vanity around that, a little bit of ego. And surprisingly, this actually um, sparks some insecurities. Um, so with these two together, we're looking at our past and those foundational, because this is in our home, and we're looking at our relationships, and there's going to be a shift there. Now, just in our home, we're looking at our home behaviors, um, like a fundamental shift, but also in our home. How do we save? How do we live? How do we eat? How do we exercise? All those different things. For my home and everything to do with finances, um, what are we doing then? And it looks like we're going to contemplate change. We're going to look at the smallest details. We're going to look, um, we're going to go over everything. We're going to see if we can find those details, if we can see where things aren't right and see where we need to make those changes. And we're going to actually implement them. In your health, you've got the King of Wands. Now, if you need to go and see a specialist, you're going to get the A-OK. -okay. Everything's going to be signed off. But I do want to say that there's some, um, for some of you men, um, some inflammation going on. Um, there's some rigidness and some inflammation. Um, almost, I, well, I want to say, um, Sagittarius, that I have this feeling of something up the side of my body, and it's causing me to be like that. Like it. So if it's inflammation um, or burning of some sort going up the leg, it's making my back go like that. So you might feel sudden that as well. And you know, look at my habits. What have I been doing today? It's not something I should be doing on a regular basis. Um, also, some of you are, are addressing your home now that your finances have changed. Okay, during virtue messages from the angel Sagittarius is... Right, so we don't want to uh, sign anything from the 18th on, hidden details. Uh, with eclipses, uh, six to nine months to get the full outcome. Um, we don't know where, we don't know what, we don't know what the details are. So you might get the yes today. And then they say, okay, so, you know, just um, in a ballpark, it's going to be this date, this amount of money, it's going to be there. But it's not exactly confirmed because they can't. So scenarios like that. Victory. This is what we're talking about with that mind thing going on. Having hope that there's things in the future that you can't see yet. Look, everything happens for a reason, to make us move, to make us shift. And sometimes it comes in a crisis, sometimes it's forced on us, and sometimes we force it on ourselves with our own uh, self-sabotage. But know that over the hill, better things are there. Athena says it's okay to be strong, it's okay to bet on you, it's okay to put your hand up, look, you're going to get a yes. Uh, and patience says, look, this is the time for you now to gather that information because it's going to happen real soon. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.